but uh, she's got herself a rabbit there. Just got him. So the boys would like to help her out with that, but she may not share. Not right away, anyway. Not even sharing with Vana. I got Jaeger and Haken up here with Vida and Vana. Vana's on the left. Hey, that's okay, boys. That's okay. You just let her have them. So I'm going to put this in the hold. It. Take it easy, boys. I'll show you where we were trying to get to. So we were trying our best. There's a spring over here somewhere. And uh, I remember it from quite a few years ago. And so we were trying to get there. But you guys take it easy. Don't be bugging her. And it's so much brush that and deadfall in there. The trees are down everywhere. So it was just brutal. But uh, it's an absolutely glorious day up here on the mountain. And uh, you can kind of see what we've been coming through, you can kind of get a handle on how rugged this trail is. This is not my standard everyday trail, but we thought, well, we'll give it a whirl if I can find that water. It's not overly hot out, it's still pretty nice, but um, this is not for the faint of heart with little guys. You got to know that you trust them because you can't see them within three feet, they're out of sight. So, uh, I uh, I got a tremendous amount of faith in these guys, of course, so it's absolutely no problem for me. But at the same time, it's a it's a heck of a hike, walkwise. Now let me see where I can go sit. I still want to be in the shade. The two girls, the boys are okay, and I'd rather keep them away from. But, uh, so maybe I'll just go sit with it. Uh, rock there. So yeah, good day to be hiking. It's a Monday, I believe it's a holiday. Most of Canada has a holiday. I think it's Labor Day. Every day is a holiday for me, so it's no big deal. Maybe I'll just film the boys instead. Looks like they just wanna cruise around, that's okay. I'll just put the camera on the boys. Yeah, they're tremendous hiking companions. Very good in the bush, these two boys. Exceptional. Vida, she's fast, and I think what happened is because of these rocks, I'm pretty positive that the the bulk of us went, we were going from one side, and she went the other, and it ran right into her, and that was the end gate. They've been uh, frustrated with a pack rat at home. He's been eluding them. He runs from woodpile wood to woodpile. 
so she saw an opportunity, she took it. So this big fella right here, he's a good hiking boy. Phenomenal fella. His brother's just as good. I left their sister at home. She stayed with some of the other girls. So two of the pups left yesterday. Catherine and Mike were up and they went home with the two match pair. Anya and her brother, and they're just having a riot so far. They're just having a fun time with them too. So they're headed to the mountains of Arizona, California. They got places around the U.S. that they go up in the mountains, cabins and stuff. And they're thrilled to have them. And. Carling's coming for Jaeger. She's taking him out to Yan. And he's in uh, Ontario. They're going to go hunting with that boy. He'll bring him some good luck. These are full on good luck hunters, you can tell by the rabbit. I mean, it's not every day that you get that kind of luck. Just like that. So these are good lucky dogs. So they'll get a big moose. I'll just move out of the wind a little bit. Yeah, we'll make our way back to our old water hole. We hiked by it. And uh, I just have to lower this again. I'm on a tremendous side hill here. So I'll just get this leveled. The boys are polite. They're not doing mess with that. Uh, I'm supposing that they'll want to carry that thing the miles here. Maybe she'll get some of it crunched up here. Maybe a little snack for the boys. But yeah, this is good training today. We're in the heavy, thick timber, like not heavy as in forest or heavy, but uh, really thick brush, like we're in the poplar in this draw and um, all the poplar is hard to go through the thickets wherever there's water like that you get all that undergrowth and it's good training for the boys well actually it's the first time we got to look at this rabbit that rabbit was already dead I think So maybe she didn't just catch it. Maybe she just grabbed it and ran around. Either way, what's it doing out here? The boys are pretty polite, eh? Good boys. But they're tired too. It's been a good walk for them. When you're training your pup in this kind of conditions, you've got to have faith in your dog because within three feet they're out of sight. So you train primarily by instinct and by energy. And you just got to keep putting out good energy to the dog so he can stay with you. These guys are extremely gifted, these lions. 
so they resonate with what I put out and they uh, can catch the energy pretty easy. And of course they're good at recall and I brought this pair because they're the best at checking in. Vida and Vana both check in, meaning they go out, they come running back, check in, touch me, tag up, go again. And so the pups get trained in that tag up method, that check in. It's a crucial skill in this kind of timber especially. Very crucial. You don't have to call them back. See if you're hunting in here, of course you just turn one silent, so that's what I train them to do. We don't make any noise if we can, we'll just walk through here. So I'm not calling them, I'm just, it's like kind of just willing them back. And sure enough, that's exactly what they do. But most won't try that because they're maybe not quite connected to the dog enough. You gotta have a pretty good bond. And once you got that bond, we'll end a piece of cake. Dakota, he could read my mind from half a mile away, way gone. Like, honest to goodness, way, way up some of these places, way up. I could stand on that rock, and he'd come out way out there somewhere. I'd be looking for him with my binox, and sure enough, he'd come out and he'd find me. He'd look at me. And he'd signal me. He'd flash his ears and wag his tail. And he'd actually wait to see if I was going to give him a sign. And so I'd either give him a go ahead or flag him back to me. And if I flagged him back to me, he would pretty much run the whole way back. He might have to stop and mark, but he would never deviate. He would come. And if I told him to go ahead, well then he'd, he'd continue on the ridge and he'd find me again, somewhere. I might have to get to a higher spot so I could see him, but he would be looking. And he'd know about where I was, pretty much exactly. Like, it's not like he comes out and swings his head around, he comes out and he looks at me. This is uncanny. But the old boys used to say that uh, the good dogs they could tell what direction a moose was moving from a good mile or more. Some dogs could send a moose up to three miles and know where he was headed. It's, uh, it's more than just scent that they're using. But unless you're into understanding that there's more senses than what we think, then uh, a little hard for you to believe, but <clears throat> these dogs got way more than just the five senses we think. That's a fact, that's guaranteed. Yeah, and they'll, they'll, they'll find you like it's, it's profound. I will say this much, if you are out hiking like this and you do lose the dog, You've got two choices. You can go back to a known location where you stopped, or you can just hunker down where you last, like right where you are, and let them come back to where you are. Um, normally, my pref preference is to go back to a known location, like a water hole, and then go to a spring and then wait there. And you just got to kind of hang out. You got to bunk down and stay and they'll show up. Now, that could take some time, but uh, there's absolutely no future in looking. Like, you give a few calls, you don't hear him, he don't come. You're not going to see him. He's moving somewhere. So, you just hunker down, he'll, he'll come back. He's geographically aware. And uh, most of the dogs um, that I've, you know, where they, they get on the trail, they, they smell something, they want to go. 
um, it could take them a few hours, maybe more. Um, and some are worse than others. Jaeger, uh, he, he, he can go and he, uh, that's big Jaeger, but his brother. He can go a fair distance, but he always returns fairly quick. But his brother Tico, he could be gone for an hour, maybe more. And so his, uh, his turn back time is longer. Mon never leaves the other brother. He would just, he would never be gone. It's just, he's just, he understands his role is to be beside me and not stop. Now these two young boys here, right at this stage in their life, they're entirely glued to me. So they're, they're absolutely flawless. Yeah, well, it's fairly recent. It is maybe uh, what might have caught that uh, doesn't look old at all. So she did uh, manage, and she sure snuffed that out in a hurry. I didn't hear anything either. Mind you, one chunk, one quick bite, and it's gone. You know, sunk her chompers in. I wouldn't have felt nothing. Painless. Rabbits are designed to go fast anyway. They're bred. Um, they're designed to die painlessly and quick. It's just the way it is. That's what they're for. Food for the predator. Calm group of dogs here, boy. Mind you, the food laying right in front of them. They're pretty calm. They're just trying to sit and wait. Hope they get something. But I doubt. They don't get anything by the way by this jumping that down. But yeah, tremendous bear country right in here. But I gotta find that other spring up here. I'm disappointed I can't get through there today. But I'll wait till the leaves fall. And uh, all the even after maybe the first snow would be good come up and then I can get through there. And I'll probably come with no pups. I'll come with just a couple big dogs and then we can slash our way and burn through. Um, yeah, I, know, buddy. I don't think she's trying to share a big pup. That's right. I don't think so. Unfortunate. Come on up. Take it easy on him. He's just a little guy. He's just a little guy. He's wishing there'd be a little snack there. He'd really like to have just a little bit. <laughs> hey, buddy, huh? That's not even fair, is it, buddy, huh? Not even fair. Oh, don't jump on my camera, buddy. You know what? Well, what do you know? One rabbit gone, eh? Bacon's just as beautiful too. He's just as good. Yeah, these are some good guys. Holy cow. 
Well, another day, another rabbit. I guess we'll call our shift, head back to the water. Good video.